Babies, I'm Ray from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are continuing our watermelon mint series with this really pretty watermelon mint lip scrub. So you can see I had some fun with this, making it look a little watermelony. I used a bit of pink mica to make the creamy base nice and pink like a watermelon, and then I included just a little tiny amount of poppy seeds for some black dots throughout to really give it that watermelon aesthetic. The pink tin I'm using is from Yellow Bee, and I think it really complements the project, though it would be also very cool if it was green, eh? Like a green rind with the pink insides. The base is very simple, so it's mostly watermelon seed oil thickened with some stearic acid, and then there is a pretty hefty dose of granulated white sugar that gives us the bulk of the scrubbiness. Of course, the poppy seeds also add some exfoliation, but I didn't want to use too many of them. I find that when you use insoluble exfoliants, you kind of tend to find them all around your bathroom for a while, and it's kind of annoying. So since it was more of an aesthetic thing, there's not a lot of poppy seeds in here. A touch of peppermint essential oil brings the minty note, and that is about it. This is really, really simple to make. If you want to learn more about this formulation, including how you could possibly adjust the firmness as it is rather soft so if you live somewhere quite hot you might prefer to dial that up so it doesn't melt on you really really quickly please make sure you are reading the blog post linked in the description box below you'll always find way more information about a formulation in its partner blog posts including links to places to purchase all of the ingredients and information on substitutions scaling shelf life and a whole lot more so come on let's get started We'll begin by combining the ingredients for our heated phase in a small heat resistant bowl. You're going to need 5.32 grams of watermelon seed oil. And just a reminder, if you need substitutions, please read the blog post linked in the description box below. 1.65 grams stearic acid, seven and a half grams granulated white sugar, 0.07 grams of a pink mica of your choice, and 0.22 grams poppy seeds. To melt everything together, we're going to pop our bowl in a water bath. So this is a small saucepan that has about an inch or three centimeters of water in the bottom of it. And I'm going to go put this on the stove top for about 20 minutes over medium heat to melt everything through. Once everything has melted, you can remove your pot from the heat and then you can remove your bowl from the water bath. So over here I have an ice bath and we're going to be using this to cool the lip scrub a little bit faster. So this is a bowl that I put in the freezer with about an inch of water in the bottom of it, froze that solid and then popped another inch of you know, liquid water on top of it. Um, you can also, of course, just put a few ice cubes in a bowl with some water. I kind of like how this gives us a nice firm flat base and then I usually just let this bowl live in my freezer with the uh, the water frozen in it so it's ready whenever I need it. Yeah, so now we're going to pop this in here and stir. And I'm gonna pull that out pretty quickly because it's already starting to solidify across the bottom. So we wanna scrape that up, work that back into everything else and then uh, repeat. Once you've reached this sort of thick, rich, creamy point, we are ready to incorporate our cool down phase. For the cool down phase, we're going to need 0.15 grams of peppermint essential oil and 0.075 grams vitamin E. Our last step is packaging up the lip scrub. So this is a really cute pink tin from Yellow Bee. We're gonna transfer that in there. And there you go. So we just made a really fun watermelon mint lip scrub. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please remember to read the full blog post linked in the description box below this video for a lot more information, information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, where to buy ingredients, and a whole lot more. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.